Well, several Mississippi Valley State University softball players were speaking out on social media about issues that they have with their coaches and the program that led them to depression and then quitting the team. 12 News' Gary Burton Jr. joins us with more from former players. Gary? Well, it started with one Mississippi Valley softball player making a post expressing how the coaching staff led her to being in the worst state of her life mentally. And after that, more and more players gained the confidence to share their painful stories. All of these allegations you are about to hear are under investigation by the university. There's a string of social media posts from former Mississippi Valley State softball players voicing their experience in the program. It was a lot for me to tell people that they pushed me to the point where I was thinking about suicide. Alyssa Montez pitched for the Devilettes from 2017 to 2019, and by they, she is referring to her two coaches, Lee Smith and Brittany Tillery. In her post, she says, quote, they did everything they did to us simply because they gained satisfaction from being cruel to us. It's just not okay. <laughs> everything that happened to everybody is not okay. Um, we should have spoke out sooner. Sophomore year, I drank just about every day in April. Lacey Wilburn played catcher, and she says she stopped playing for Valley because the environment led her to depression. Lacey, Alyssa, and all the others say they're speaking out to save current and future players from what they went through. I do have good memories from Valley, um, but all of my good memories are not about softball. Our coaches were so unapproachable. It didn't matter if you were concerned about something. If you were scared, you could not go to them to ask them any questions. They were so unapproachable. I reached out to both coaches and athletic director Diane Thena Ford Key for comment, but neither answered. I did get in touch with Demetrius House, the coordinator of athletic media and public relations. They have an open investigation going right now trying to see what, what's really going on. So we're not really making a comment right now at this time. Players say they've spoken up in the past and the previous athletic director held a meeting, but no changes were made. Alyssa says after this meeting, Coach Lee made them run with no water breaks. And she even says two players fainted from conditioning one time and they continued to make them run. I want everybody who's ever experienced this to share their stories so that we can all be heard and there could be a change. And currently, it's unclear as to which department of the university is investigating these allegations. And in the comments of these players posed, there are athletes from other sports from Mississippi Valley who say they're dealing with some of the same problems. For Toy News, I'm Gary Burton Jr. Back to you at the desk.